Q, Latin Toastmaster, so applying to Toastmaster, then soon to be applying Toastmaster. <laughs> yes. No pressure, no pressure. So my speech is titled, My Journey with Photography. I, I wanted to take on this journey with me because I don't really get to share this about myself a lot. I really love taking pictures and, and it's just, I really re recently discovered, but I want to take you back in terms of where it all began. So, my first time, for my journey of taking photography was actually in high school. My senior year of high school, I took a photography free beginner class. And I always knew I liked taking pictures, but I'm not, I don't want to say seriously, but in terms of taking it where you enjoy it, like a, as a hobby. So when I took this class, we all got a, in our class, we all got a, a camera rented out to us to take for the whole semester or the whole year, actually. And we, each week we got different, or each month we got different assignments in terms of what to, what to do in terms of focusing on the camera, I guess holding the camera, in terms of visuals. And one one project that really stood out to me was the leading lines where you take a picture of the railroad track. Kind of picture your mind, like where is it leading to? What, what, what images you kept creating in your head? So I have a picture. This is the picture that I took in high school uh, that I really felt like I could really actually do something. Like it has clear clear contrast and everything. Like even my professor, my teacher said, well, he gave me a 99 out of 100, which is you know good, but I should have got 100. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but it made me feel like good because with his comments that he even put this picture into like a showcase we had at our high school, and it was really cool to see my name on here. Julia Witcher and really think that okay, maybe I can really take this seriously. It is not, it was just like this, but we had a fun time trying to <laughs> do something with this. I can't remember, but that's why I brought it. But this picture makes me feel really, really proud because this is really where it all started for me. And I felt like maybe I, I could really do this. So when I finished high school, that kind of journey kind of drifted a little bit. I was mostly focused on college in terms of doing engineering and whatnot. I, I even had to drop doing basketball because you can't do that with engineering. It's not like but I got this great opportunity where I got to participate to go to China for two months for this program called IRES, which is the International Research Experience for Students, where basically we do like research overseas at two different universities, one in Beijing, one in Wuhan, China, and other, and also do a cultural experience and learn about the culture of China. So there's two teams that went, and I was one of the teams that was selected, we were the host team. And we had to create like a blog to showcase what we did, to actually show we did something because we got money to do all this stuff, so we can't just go and <laughs> not show anything, right? So within the team, there was different roles that you could pick, like the captain or like the treasurer or the webmaster, the ones that do the website, or the photographer. Well, obviously I chose photography because that was the simple thing to do. And I know that I really, not yet. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was, well, go to that slide now since I'm talking about it. <laughs> so this is our our web page. It was fun to actually go back. I looked at this last night. It brought back great memories. This is one of the, the universities called Husk. I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to uh, really mess up the name. But this is kind of where we showcase what we did. We had journals. Uh, thank you. Journals, what we did every day, and also to the photos, which is my job, which I had the most fun doing. So, I'm gonna take you on the journey of the photos that I took there tonight. So, this is me for Team of Succeed, we're having fun, you know. We're at the other university that was in Beijing, Tsinghua, and when I looked at this picture, even though this was like four years ago, it brings back great memories, and the reason why I take the pictures because it helps you remember everything that went on. And, just have the happy moments and know that I shared this experience with these three individuals that I will never forget. So, what did it say? Entrance to the Great Wall. Never in my life I thought I was going to go to the Great Wall in China. I mean, I saw on TV people went and I was like, I didn't think I was going to go there, but that was cool. So, just looking at that picture brought back memories of how so many people going to go to the Great Wall. People that are locals, lots of people that are also tourists, like, me and my group went to work. So this is a picture that I took of one part of the Great Wall, obviously it's really long. And there's also parts too where it was like broken down and just kind of ready and just how old it was. But it was just cool to capture this image to show. And you can see there's like people walking up those things too. And also 
there was two different tracks too. There was a, the harder track where all the locals go, and then there was the easier track. And obviously my group was like, we have to go to the local track because, I mean, we got to take the harder ones to remember, you know, that we did that, you know. As you can see, it's like very steep. And it was a lot of good, good workout. And it was very tiring, but it was a great experience. So I want to show proof that I was actually there, so I don't want to say I was there. <laughs> but, and funny story, not funny, but this is a great story. So uh, this is four years ago, right? This is the exact, exact same day that I started here, the senior grade leader. <laughs> so who would have thought, go to the Great Wall of China and I come here and work at UC, isn't that great? <laughs> so it was a great memory to have these, these people over here, my other group mate here, and I don't know what I was looking at, but I was looking at something, I don't know. Or maybe she was taking a picture, I can't remember, but just looking at that, as you can see, there's like the heating here, it's really humid and hot, so we have to make sure we have stuff to keep hydrated, but looking at that makes me really happy and go to the gym and things like that. So, uh, do you guys know what this is? It's a bird game, right? Yeah, the bird's nest. I didn't realize how cool it was until I actually was there, that that's where the Olympics was in 2008. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm -hmm. how did I not think about that? That was in China, that's where it happened. So I had to take that picture because it was a great memory to have. And also, we got to go inside. Mm -hmm. So here's a track where they had all the track and field things. I don't really remember watching it, but I know that's where the track events went. Also, two people got to go like on a Segway and like ride around the golf course. Well, we didn't do that because that was too much money, but just sitting, in, just even giving a chance to sit in these seats where people got to sit to watch Olympics, that was really cool. So it was just a great experience in all. It was dope. And here's also two where like, is this where Michael Phelps won something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with all the water, <laughs> you know, all the water activities were occurring here. It was really cool. There was also like a, I think a meet or something going on at the time. So it was cool to see people like really still using this uh, facility and things like that. So, let's go. Okay, stop. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then my journey, you know, this was over for two months. We, we had to report everything that then unfortunately my journey stopped again due to school, trying to finish school and try to get in debt. But then it came back again, this December of last year. I was at Macy's, I know it's kind of random. I was at Macy's, just walking around, around Christmas time, and I stumbled up across this camera that I had to get because it just looked cool. So it's a Polaroid snap camera that I got. Oh, and when you take pictures, it's like two inch by three inch that prints out and you can either stick it on something or put a photo album, which I'm going to pass around. I, I, I've been having fun taking pictures with this camera when we look at it. I'm still learning, so it's not, I'm not an expert. You know, like Rich, has to come to me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just really cool taking this. I, when I, as soon as I got this camera, I started taking pictures everywhere from like California where I went from home. And it's the reason why I like taking pictures. I like taking significant pictures so I can remember things and maybe you have your worst days for you to remember. And I actually wanted to now kind of turn over to you guys, because in terms of photography for me, how it feels, get you guys thoughts on my photography or pictures, or two pictures. And you guys just gonna just shout out a few people. <laughs> Donald Pico, everybody. In terms of when you look at this picture, I know it's not the greatest, but it's hopefully it's better. Like, what do you guys, what does it make you feel when you look at this picture? Just say it. It's like a sunrise dark, over uh, the ocean. This is like water here. Yeah. It's a nice warm feeling. Mm -hmm. Scary. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Scary. Okay. Looks like the alien language. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, next picture, please. Tall. Okay, now nice. this picture. Yeah. High school. Cenote. What did you say? Cenote. High school. Yeah, yeah, there is no jumping the cord. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. it's gay. Accident waiting oh. to happen. <laughs> well, you're right, because those two pictures are actually from Jamaica when I took seven years ago with my family that I took. And this picture right here, actually, people were climbing on top of a tree and for some odd reason and jumping down like really high up to mm. jump in here. It's like a thing, it's like a well known thing in Jamaica. Mm. So you can see, I don't know, this kid, and you see people here climbing back up to go back there. But the things that you guys were saying, this is why I like taking pictures people's reactions to it and how they feel about it because that's how I feel when I take pictures. So my journey of photography is not over, it's still going to continue, nothing's going to stop me because 
I feel like Greek has a charm and has to stay 